Hi there folks, happy homebrew Wednesday. Well, summer's truly here, so I've made a nice little video over the last few weeks, which I've put together for you, showing you how to make nettle wine. So, I'll see you at the end, but in the meantime, where do you Graham in the garden? Hi there folks, uh, welcome to the garden. Um, as you can see, it's spring, uh, the garden's a bit of a mess, in the process of being tidied up and completely reorganised. Luckily, the other half of the garden is in a state of decent repair. Um, that's why I'm out today, because today we're going to be making nettle wine. So the first thing we need is to go and get some nettle tops, hence the fact I have on a big hefty glove, because nobody likes getting stung, and a free hand, and a nice coat. And yeah, let's just get to it. Now the first thing you're going to need, if you're making nettle wine, are nettle tops. What is a nettle top? Well, if I grab a nettle up out the ground, and you look at it here, this section here, say the first eight leaves or so, that is your nettle top. Now, you can take the rest of the leaves if you want, if you're making something like a soup um, or tea, but if you're going to make nettle wine or nettle beer, it's generally a good idea to make sure that you've got um, only the sort of freshest, youngest leaves. So, I mean, you, you can, you know, if, depending if you do it this way, if you snip off the top, as I'm doing, and retain these bits only, um, you're saving yourself a little time maybe. But you can also go out and just pull all the nettles in your garden, especially if you've got a lot of them, and you want to just pull them up. Pull them all up, take them inside, um, rinse them off in the sink, trim off the nettle tops and any nettle leaves that look young and fresh that you want to use, um, and put the rest of them um, in a composting bin that way, or, you know, if you want, you can use them for um, cooking or for um, uh, to make a tea with. This is your choice. I've done a combination of both because I also went out and cut a lot of the nettles in the garden the other day, um, so I pulled them all up, um, took some inside, but just to make sure I've got enough, I'm just coming out to get a remainder of nettle tops. What I tend to do is I have a large cooking pot, about maybe 10 litres. Um, I like to just fill that with them. Um, once you've done that, that should be about enough. So, I'll continue with this and see you back in the kitchen. Having come back in from the garden, um, I've placed everything in the sink. Uh, here we go. Nice sink full of nettle tops and we also have all of these ones now they've already been washed and um, just about to wash these ones gloves always important and wash them in cold water and just once you're done pop them into the tin now it's very important to try and make sure that these around these top areas sometimes they're quite furled closed and then those ones you want to try and make sure that you're washing all of those bits Mainly just to make sure that there's no beasties up there, um, which, you know, can happen. And watch out for pieces of grass. That's a... Uh, noticed one thing, that it's... You definitely tend to end up with a little bit of extra plant life when you're harvesting the nettles. So, uh, like anything, it's all just a matter of cleaning it off and then popping it in the tin. Having put all the rest of them in the pot, we're then going to put that onto a simmer. Um, I've got three pints, three pints of water, which I'm going to add over the top, bring it to the boil, hmm. I think I'll add an extra pint in there, just in case. And while that fourth pint's boiling, I'm going to take a trusty wooden spatula, just gently press the nettles down into there to make sure they're all covered. Fourth pint. Yeah, that's about right. So we're now going to put this onto a low heat. Now I'm just going to bring this to boil. Um, and then I'm going to let it simmer for about 20 minutes to about maybe half an hour. Um, at this point you don't want to add anything else to it, you just want to leave nettles at this stage. Let them 
Because this is partly to destroy um, the stinging poisons um, in the fibres on the outside of the, the nettle leaves of the stalk. But it's also to try and get some of the flavour out of it. Now while we've got a minute now, it's probably a good time to think about the other things that we're going to be putting in with the nettles. Because nettle wine, if it's just nettles, um, can be a little bit um, uh, tad insipid. Um, it just doesn't quite have the body um, to really give that kind of oomph to it. So I'm going to be putting the, um, the rind and juice of two oranges into it, um, as well as some pieces of apples, locally sourced, and some ginger. And obviously I'm going to um, peel and chop that into stalks first. Good surface area allows the flavour to move really meld with it. And that'll give, that'll give it just um, the wine a, a body and flavour that it doesn't otherwise have. Now it's still waiting on the nettles finishing simmering and having already prepared all the fruit and the ginger, uh, there's still one thing left um, and that's a very strong cup of tea. Because um, obviously uh, most wines have tannins in them, you need to add additional tannins when making them from fruit wines. So um, the easy way to do this is to take two or three tea bags, stick them in a teacup, make one very, very strong cup of black tea. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I've got to the point where we've finished simmering um, the nettles. I'm now going to strain them into a secondary container. Um, just we've boiled about all of the goodness and all of the flavour and the, indeed the colour as well out of the, the leaves. So there's no point retaining them. Um, so we're going to put them through something else. Didn't lose anything much. That's why you pour away from yourself. This really resembles spinach. Unbelievably resembles spinach. Um, quite how much. Uh, not only in the colour and the consistency, but also in the smell. It just goes to show people really have their own idea about nettles. There's nothing wrong with them. Now, Having done that, I'm now going to transfer it back. The reason we use colander and a sieve is because small bits still come through. Now, you don't really need them in it. Now, I'm just going to pop this back in here because it's far easier to use the bigger one. So, at this point, we can now add Are very very strong tea our lemon juice oh, sorry orange orange juice our ginger and orange peel and our chunks of apple 
I'm going to give that a good hearty stir. It's actually starting to smell a bit like a fruit punch. And into this we're putting one and a half kilograms of granulated sugar. Stir that until it's dissolved. And all that remains now is to pop it all in the fermentation bucket and then we're going to leave it overnight um, to let it all, the flavours all merge together and then tomorrow or possibly the day after, depending. I'll give it a chance to see how it feels. And then after that we'll make up our yeast and we'll add that and then it's just leaving it alone for a while. Thanks. <laughs> So there you have it, um, and I've actually just finished racking the nettle wine to a secondary. Um, as you can see it up there, it's still cloudy from the racking. Um, it smells very interesting, and it's come out with a gravity of um, 0 0.99, so it's basically ready to go. But I'm going to leave it in there for a little while, um, then probably rack it, to, rack it into another um, tertiary um, container, um, just to get rid of some of the sediment and actually allow um, it to settle and clarify a little bit. So that hopefully should just take a week or two, and then we can see how it's going. Um, in the meantime, um, I'll be back hopefully next week um, to show you how the stout got on. Um, remember the stout from a few weeks ago? Well, it's just about finished now. So um, when I say that, I mean it's just about finished being drunk. So hopefully I'll still have some left when we get around to that. I'll let you know how it turned out. Anyway, that's it for this week. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. <laughs>